I hear fierce all the time. I'll be walking down the street and people are like, Tyra, fierce! Even when I look like crap. <laughs> Hello there, I am Tyra Banks. 1,449 of you took a survey about me. I think they know me really well. Maybe better than I know myself. Inside Tyra's mind. Who is Tyra's doppelganger? Beyonce and Rihanna's baby, if that was humanly possible. Jasmine Tooks, nine of you said that. I don't think we look alike, but thank you, Jasmine. I mean, she's a supermodel. Today, Zoe Saldana. Hola, Zoe. Do we look alike? I don't think we look alike at all, but she is gorgeous. Rihanna, 162 of you said that. I can see that. I think Rihanna does look like a younger version of me. I see it myself. We got the forehead. Mine's covered up, but oh, sisters, here. 405 said Beyonce. I get it. It's a secret. Beyonce and I are the same person. The Zoe thing, I don't see that at all. At all. She's so gorgeous, and then I want to be Avatar, but Zoe, do you think we look alike? Who is Tyra's favorite America's Next Top Model winner? Okay, they're all my children, so I can't like say there's favorites. I think a lot of people might say Eva Marcil, who was Eva Pickford when she won. They might say Niall DeMarco, he was a guy that won. Oh yes! 99 of you say Whitney Thompson. Whitney won and she was the first curve girl with some booty and curves that won America's Next Top Model. 99 of you, I love me some Whitney. 369 of you said Eva. Okay, so I know that there is a lot of you that would think that. Only 45 said Niall DeMarco. Carrie D. English, 117 of you said that. Oh my gosh, hola. I say that because she won in Barcelona. All of them, oh, that is so sweet. And 252 of you said that because you know they're all mama's babies, but the most of you said Eva. Isn't that crazy? I knew they were going to say that. There's something about Eva that has resonated so much of people to this day. And I literally was with her two days ago, but I'm not playing favorites. A few surprised me, but I'm not gonna say the names, darling. What is Tyra's favorite top model moment? Oh, just the first season. Crazy Janice Dickinson. As, as, as over the top as she was, and it, it was just enjoyable to watch her, I have to be honest. 432 of you said, we were all rooting for you. Hmm. 243 said makeovers or tieovers. 117 of you said Thailand photo shoot. And 81 of you said music video. I think the 242 is right. I think it's the makeovers, the tieovers. I love looking at somebody and not just models and saying, what should we do with your look? Do any of the Tyra makeovers stick out to you? Oh, so many. Psycho Five, Cassandra, beauty queen girl, beautiful girl, petite girl. She had long brown hair and we cut it off like a pixie. And then I saw it and I was like, mm, this is not right. It needs to be a little shorter. And she said, oh no, if you cut my hair anymore, I'm going home. This is not happening. If Tyra could spend a day at a theme park with anyone, dead or alive, who would she choose and why. I'm obsessed with theme parks. Like, I love them. They make me so happy. I'm obsessed. I am opening Model Land. Disneyland meets America's Next Top Model in a whole new world. 90 of you said that I would wanna go to a theme park with Beyonce. 
she would be fun because our hair would be like blowing in the rides of all of the roller coasters. Oh, my grandma. She's no longer with us. Um, she passed when she was 95 years old and she had the most beautiful Texas accent. And she called me, Ty, Ty, let me kiss your head. Michelle Obama? Oh my gosh, I would never think this. This is a, sh oh, she would turn it up. She would be crunk. You know what she would be doing on the rides? Mm, 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 mm. And my mama, no, I don't want to go to amusement park with my mama. She's going to be complaining the whole time. She's going to be like, what is this? My feet hurt. I love you, mama, but I'd much prefer to go to amusement park with Michelle Obama. I threw Oprah. There was one more left and I didn't. Oh God, Oprah. Now I got lipstick all over her face. 45 of you said Oprah and I threw Oprah on the floor because I didn't know that she was in there. Sorry, Oprah. Hashtag sorry. Michelle Obama really surprised me. And my grandma. I thought that was so beautiful of fans to choose that. That is really special. I would have never thought of that. What is Tyra's favorite catchphrase? You know, I wasn't trying to make catchphrases like being on my talk show or being on America's Next Top Model or just in life. Like I just kind of talk. It is interesting, particularly when I'm seeing them made into GIFs or is it a GIF? Is it a guy? those things. The chart says, but make it fashion is 22.4%. So much that I made sweatshirts and t-shirts that are, but make it fashion that you can get at Model Land. Crazy. Flossom, 14.9%. Flossom means your flaws are awesome. So I'm so happy that a lot of you guys chose that. Smite, <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> Smize for me, it's a command, do it. Are you doing it right now? Smize for me. Tooch and booch, oh gosh, we love the tooch. The tooch is for the girl to go pop, pop that booty and the booch is for a boy to pop, pop his booty. Only 8.1% of you guys said Tyra Mill? Come on, you guys, I should have gotten more. Shame on you. My favorite is, but make it fashion because you can fill that in with anything. Snap, but make it fashion. Yawn, but make it fashion. You get it? It's mundane things in life taken to the fashion extreme. Model break. Who would you like to see Tyra pose with on a photo shoot? Oh, that's a good question. They're gonna say Barack Obama, Heidi Klum, Millie Bobby Brown. I don't know, I'm <laughs> just making up stuff. Jenner, that is a good one, you guys. I would love to pose with Kendall. Kendall actually came on America's Next Top Model a long time ago. Zendaya. I feel like Zendaya is a model, even though she's not a professional model, because she knows how to work clothes. She looks fantastic, and she's not even posing. Gigi Hadid. Actually, I did a mosquito campaign with Gigi Hadid recently, so 180 of you said I'd like to pose with her because Kind of did, a little bit. Oh, Ariana Grande, 99 of you said that. I would have never thought that, but I'm obsessed with her ponytail. I'm all about personal branding. What makes you different? When you think ponytail, what do you think? Grande, Ariana that is. Would love to pose with you one day, boo. Halima, 63 of you said Halima. Halima is the sweetest girl in the world. She's got so much energy and perk and like, Ah, like the life like makes her so happy. Who would I choose to pose with? I am not saying. Transmutations? If Tyra was a ghost, where would she haunt and why? The DMV. Because all those bad pictures that get taken there. Is that on the list? <laughs> Where would I haunt as a ghost? Bergdorf Goodman, because why not? Hollywood. So I'd what, haunt the stars on the ground in Hollywood? What do you mean? New York Fashion Week. Oh my God, that would be so good. Like me haunting, like models are walking down the runway and being like, Ooh, and they like feel something happened in their spirit and it gets cold on the runway all of a sudden. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? Milan, so she can enjoy their premier fashion and freak out fellow models. 
Vogue so she can be on every cover? That would be monotonous and boring, right? She would haunt the hair salon and haunt you when you get a bad perm. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, except I wouldn't haunt you. I would haunt that janky hairdresser that gave you that bad perm. Smizing means to smile with one's eyes, to give a certain intensity that penetrates the camera and delights the person looking at your photo. Okay, this is fun, actually. This is a smize off on the table. Number one, who's this? Number two, number three, smize at an angle. And number four, that's almost like they're smiling with their mouth, so I would say this is disqualified as a smize. You don't use your mouth at all when you smize. Oh, Zendaya was number one, and that's my number one. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Haley Baldwin was two, but she was my three. Ariana, oh my God, I thought she was smiling with her lip and she wasn't. That's crazy, she's got some Jedi mind trick eyes. Three, and she's my four. Gosh, I'm so off. Oh, that's Yara. Why the hell did I think that was Gabrielle Union? That doesn't even look like Gabrielle Union at all. What is wrong with me? I didn't know if this or this was Ariana Grande, to be honest. I thought both of these were, but this is Haley. And yeah, I just was like, that's not a smize at all because there's a big grin at the bottom of that. But there's no grin. Like she is giving sexy face. So how can she smile with her eyes without smizing but not smile with her lips? Describe Tyra in one word. <laughs> oh, Fierce is the biggest one, which means the most people said that. You know how these clouds work, these word clouds. The bigger the word, the more big something is in terms of number. Oh, the second one was inspiring. That's so sweet, you guys. Third is beautiful, that's nice. And then we have amazing, awesome, fabulous, honest, gorgeous, boss. Smart, baddie, all oh, these are so sweet. Mm. Classy, really, you sure? Influencer, model, bubbly. Oh, I like bubbly, that makes me happy. Icon, powerful. Oh, this is so sweet, you guys. I wanna frame this. I just know how to act classy, but I'm not classy. I hear fierce all the time. I'll be walking down the street and people are like, Tyra, fierce! Even when I look like crap. <laughs> they just wanna say it. What does Tyra mean to you? It's so interesting even calling them fans. Um, sometimes I say fam. Oh. She gives me hope to know that a black woman made it. She conquered, she persevered. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Tyra and America's Next Top Model defined my childhood. I grew up watching every season with my mom and sister. Tyra reminds me of the time spent with the powerful women in my life. That's so beautiful. I love that this is not about the show and the show was fun and stuff, but about the bond that happened with your family because of my show. So it takes it like to the next level. It's bigger than the show. Tyra taught me to love myself. Her talk show impacted my life in a tremendous way oh, and really shaped the way I view myself. She helped me build my confidence why am I crying? Because of her consistent dialogue of true beauty. You see what you guys do to me? Tyra is an incredibly talented and beautiful black woman that has helped me in times of trouble just through her authenticity when I needed healing the most. Tyra has taught me through her posts on social media and interviews as well as her talk show that beauty is in the smize of the beholder. She taught me to love myself more and love my selfie too. You guys, what are you doing to me? <sighs> to me, she is a dream come true that reminds me anything is possible. Don't, sh don't be shy, be a star. I love you, Tyra Banks. Thank you so much. You're the best role model I could ever ask for. I'm trying to get through this. That I can be confident and fierce all the time, not just some of the time. There isn't a limit to beauty, whether size, race, or age. She makes you feel that even if people aren't accepting of you, it doesn't matter because someone out there is. And the other people that love you. 
I thought I was here to have fun, not cry. <laughs> I'm surprised that me and Jasmine Tooks are sisters. <laughs> I'm surprised that you all said that I would love to go to an amusement park with my grandma. I, mean, I never thought that, my dead grandma, and I would love to do that. And I'm surprised by the beautiful things that you guys said in those letters and that you're so raw. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and you're just stressed and tired, but you show me that it's worth it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever asked me a lot of these questions and I've I've been asked a lot of questions throughout my life, throughout my career, and I, um, I really enjoyed this. Thank you guys for answering them, and I'm gonna keep keeping on, and I want you guys to come to Model Land, where all those things that you said are at Model Land. All of those things that make you feel beautiful, and all these people in the world telling you that you're not good enough. I've created a place that you can come and feel yourself filled up and take the most amazing pictures and get that selfie esteem there. I'm here for you and I love you guys so much.